Boom shakalaka, welcome back to the Austin Automates YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to have AI respond with a text message to missed calls. Some of you might know it as missed call text back, but basically whenever a company misses a call, let's say I want to get my hair cut and I call the first hair salon that I find on Google and nobody picks up. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna call the next one and then I'm gonna call the next one and I'm gonna call the next one until I find someone with some availability that can schedule me an appointment. I don't care if it's today or a couple days from now, I'm just trying to get hold of someone to schedule an appointment. So now people are setting up what's called miss call text back that when a company misses a call, that person immediately gets a text message that says, hey, we're in a meeting or we're busy. Is there something we can help you with? And then AI will actually book an appointment through text message, through SMS, for that person so that they don't lose the business and they don't that that individual doesn't just go to the next person and I'm going to show you step by step how to set that up using high level and close bot so let's just dive right in all right so first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to have my high level account and my close bot account set up if you do not have a close bot account I do have my link in the description and if you uh, sign up for a free account it's completely free they don't ask for your credit card if you sign up for a close bot account with my link I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of bonuses and some trainings and stuff like that, but I'll get into that at the end. So I'm gonna have my close bot account open and I'm gonna have my high level account open. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a new bot. So you can basically pick one of the templates. I'm gonna use this one that I've already started with. And the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna wanna integrate it into my high level account. And so I'm gonna hit add new. And because I'm already logged into my high level account, it's going to ask me for uh, which sub account I wanna select and I wanna connect it to that sub account. And then I'm gonna hit back. And again, I wanna keep this super simple for all of you. So we're gonna be in the general and let's call this hair salon missed call. And the bot's name is going to be, let's just call her Sarah. And then response delays, let's put a five second delay on that. And we'll leave the rest of the settings then make sure you hit save. So the first thing we wanna do is let the bot know why this conversation is happening. So I'm going to say at lead name is calling and we missed the call. This is an SMS conversation responding to miss call. We need to book the appointment through SMS. And then uh, important business information, you can list any information you want to have like the, the bot to have access to. It'll also reinforce the boss's, the bot's voice. You could do the business's mission statement or anything like that. Fre don't do like frequently asked questions. That can go in the knowledge storage. But right now we're just gonna put Sunrise Salon so it knows. And then how to respond. If at lead name, ask you personal questions. Come up with a sincere response. Do not tell at lead name. And then that means don't use at lead names in your response. And so that way it's not saying, hey, Sarah, how are you doing, Sarah? Good morning, Sarah. And then what we want to do is after we've prompted the main prompts, um, you could do relaxed and maybe friendly, and then we're going to hit save. Awesome. Then the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set the objectives. And again, we're going to keep this really simple. So the first objective is going to be ask at lead name what service they are looking for. So find out like what exactly do they just need a haircut? Do they need a hair and wash? But it's going to find out exactly what service they are looking for. And then if you have some custom fields, you can actually set in that space what service and then it could be it could actually either it will actually fill out that custom field what service they're looking for but we're not going to add that right now all right and then the second objective is set an appointment with at lead name uh, or title it booking and then set a haircut appointment using the availabilities on the calendar and so the cool thing is you click auto field updates calendar ai booking then what you're going to want to do is go over to high level and grab this id this calendar id so let's say that is the hair salon's booking calendar then i'm going to want to go back over to close bot and it's going to only it's oh it actually shows me that a calendar is available if i was going to if that doesn't show up what i would do is type that calendar id in there and then look it shows me prospect capo booking calendar and then again i'm going to hit close and save so now that my bot is integrated into high level and we set the objectives it knows that it's receiving a it's going to be answering a missed call uh, through text message now I'm going to want to go and build the workflow out inside of high level. All right. So we do need to have two workflows for this. The very first one is going to be when the call is missed, it's going to add a tag missed call, and then it's going to send out that very first text message. Then we're going to want to make sure we publish this. So how that workflow looks is call status incoming, call direction incoming, call status, no answer. And then we hit save. Then we do need to add a tag because that's how I'm going to trigger which bot responds. So add tag, missed call. 
and then SMS. And the first message is, hello, this is Sarah with Sunrise Salon. I'm sorry we missed your call. Is there something that I can help you with? Now, obviously you can make it a little more sophisticated than that, but we're just gonna go with that for now. Hit save action, and then we're gonna hit save. Now we need to create what's called the processing uh, workflow that is going to actually fire the bot. So here is the process message that's actually going to send over a request to Closebot to do the responding. So we're gonna do re reply channel is SMS. So someone text messages and the contact has the tag missed call, save trigger. And then we are going to send a webhook to Closebot that says, hey, if someone text messages and they have this tag, we need the bot to respond. And so for this one, particularly because I have more than one bot connected to this sub account, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab this bot number so it knows that I want to talk to the hair salon bot and the missed call bot. And then I'm gonna hit bot value and then I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna hit publish. And then I just wanna make sure that both of those workflows are published. All right, so both of those workflows are published. All right, now that's all connected, when I call my high level number, I should receive a text message back. And then when I respond, the AI will take over and book the appointment. All right, I am calling into my high level account right now. And you can see right there, it shows a calls coming through. I have my name as Austin Butler in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and decline the call. And then you immediately see after I decline the call, it says, hello, this is Sarah with Sunrise Salon. I'm sorry we missed your call. Is there something that I can help you with? And then I'm going to text back and say, yes, I was, I was looking to schedule an appointment. And you see that pop up right in here. Yes, I was looking to schedule an appointment. And then boom, you can see that AI takes over and it says, great. What type of haircut or service were you looking for? I am just looking for a simple man's haircut. And you see it pop up there. I just texted, I am just looking for a simple man's haircut. Then AI messages back and it says, perfect. We have some openings today. Would 11 a.m. or 1.30 p.m. work for you? 1.30 p.m. works for me perfectly. Then you see it pop up, 1.30 p.m. works for me perfectly. And then it says, awesome, you're all set for a haircut at 1.30 p.m. today, see you then. And now that hair salon doesn't actually lose an appointment. And then because I'm using my exact same phone number to receive notifications, it says, Austin just booked an appointment at Friday, December 6th, 2024, 1.30 p.m. Today is Friday. I don't know why that message says tomorrow. That's actually in my SMS, so I'm gonna have to change that. And now if you go to the calendar section, click calendars, you can see that there is an appointment there at 1.30 simply because I called, missed the call, I got a text message back and was able to book an appointment very quickly and easily through SMS with that simple process using high level and close bot. So that is step-by-step step how to use high level and close bot to have AI respond to a missed call through text messages and then actually go on to book the appointment. Super quick, super easy. If you do not have a close bot account and you need one, my link is in the description to, to actually set up your free account. And if you need any help, if you sign up for close bot through my link, I'd be happy to hop on a call and show you step-by-step step how to set it up, get it all connected and get your first bot running. If you already have high level and you're already using close bot and you want to be a part of a community of bot builders. I do have a link in the description for the number one bot building community where you can get support. There's free trainings and access to everything. Everything's free and you guys can dive right in and like I said, get help building this out. Like I said, just wanted to show you step-by-step step how to actually use AI to respond through text messages through a miss that, that, that missed a call and then set an appointment through text messages using Closebot and high level. Please reach out if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you in future trainings. Woo!